good YouTube. I've got an overwhelming amount of questions as to how my competition went. Did I place? Did I do well? And I'm about to answer everything for you. So first off, I did absolutely no cardio over this 12 week contest prep. My calories started at 3,500 calories three times a week with a low day of 2,700 calories four times a week. I then dropped, I think about on week eight to 3,000 calories three times a week and 2,300 calories four times a week. The 3,000 calories, I was at 440 carbs, and the 2,300 calories, I was at 250 carbs. This is actually quite a bit of food, probably more than a lot of people eat. So I'm about to throw a video up on the screen. Probably could have ended up actually being leaner had I given this more time. Additionally, in the regards to how lean I could have gotten and all that good stuff, back in May of 2016, still this year, I was 190 pounds. When I started my contest prep, I was 178 pounds. When I stepped on stage, I was finally 161 pounds. That's a 30 pound drop this year and for my contest prep that is an 18 or 17 pound drop in just 12 weeks of these past 12 weeks that I spent prepping for the show the past two months past eight weeks before this show is probably the absolute hardest emotionally as well as business as well as school were probably the hardest times I've actually ever gone through on top of this prep. To me, this prep was really just hard because it was mentally hard and it wasn't actually physiologically hard. Like I wasn't starving myself and I wasn't extremely hungry for really anything and I didn't have excessive cravings for food. As you noticed, I ate pancakes all the time if you watch my Snapchat stories. So it wasn't physiologically hard. It was just mentally straining knowing that I had to be perfect with everything I was doing or at least try my best to be perfect. There is a roach next to my cinnamon roll. So now the real reason why you probably are watching this to see how I placed, how do I feel about it and all that good stuff. So as you can see in the video, in my novice class, there were roughly about 14 to 16 people. I'm not exactly sure, but it was, let's just say 15 people in the class. I ended up getting first call outs, which to me was exceptionally amazing. I was blown away by it. To me, placing at all in both either the novice or open class was just unfathomable as an experience and a feeling. This class had quite a few people and it had some hard competitors in there that were indefinitely better than me. In addition to the novice class, there was the open class. This was extremely hard. This was an extremely stacked class. It was just absolutely mind-blowing how good these guys were and impressive their physiques were. And the fact that I even had the chance to go up against them, to me, was, was a blessing. As you can see in the open class, these guys were absolutely stacked. They were unbelievable. I ended up getting fifth out of 10 people in the open class. And like I said, fifth out of 15 roughly people in the novice class. So I got first call outs in both divisions and got fifth place in both divisions as well. Personally, I'm extremely happy with the results that I got. I gave this prep as much as I possibly could for the past 10 to 12 weeks. The first few weeks were roughly a little bit shaky because I had a lot of family things going on and personal things going on that I had to manage with and it made it a little bit hard to stay on track for the very first two weeks of prep. As prep went on, it just got emotionally very hard with other things going on in my life, business as well as school, things that it's probably been the hardest and most stressful time that I've really been through. And then to add prep on there was just extremely hard. But I made it through it, it's all over, and I'm happy with the results that I got. And I thank every one of you for asking me how I did and supporting me and telling me that I could do it and that it was just so close and within my reach to finally being over with. So thank you everyone, I'll see you guys next time.